Hello and welcome to this episode of Ask Raghav. Sometimes when we are doing the same thing for a long time, we are in the same job, we are working with the same tools, technology, skills, we are working in the same team, we see the same people every day and the same place. Sometimes things uh, start to get boring, we do not find a lot of happiness and we want to go out, look for change, try out different things and we are not very excited to do the same thing over and over again every day. I got this comment some time ago on one of my videos where it was discussed that after some time both manual testing and automation testing becomes boring. Uh, we do not find a lot of excitement in doing what we are doing. There is very less uh, work-life balance and we are not very happy in this scenario and we want to uh, you know come out of this try out new things and change the things for uh, you know everyone or at least for us if we can do something better for us so uh, here i have figured out some very generic things which will be relevant to everyone for example you are working in the same project for a long time and you are doing the same things same activities on a daily basis or you are working with the same tools same frameworks and you do not find a lot of excitement doing the same things and working on the same tools and frameworks you are following the same routine every day for a long time and the work is not very challenging you are doing the same work and you know what to do how to do it so it is not very challenging for you or the team the environment the workplace is not very supportive now what we can do here so let me go one by one if you are doing if you are working on the same project and you are doing the similar activities maybe it's time to figure out what new you can do you can talk to your team, talk to your managers, seniors and see if you can try out new things in the same project or if you can go to a different project and there you can learn and try out new things. So it is always good to express your feelings, talk to people, uh, talk to your seniors and see what best can be done here. And here you can always have a mindset where you want to learn new things and then you, you can implement and help in your organization, in your projects. If you are working on the same tools and frameworks since a long time, maybe it's time to upskill yourself. You can uh, figure out some time in your routine, maybe early morning, late evenings, you can take out one hour and you can uh, start learning new things, whatever you want to learn. It can be aligned to your project or job. You can talk to your team and see what new things are required and maybe you can volunteer to learn new things and then you know implement that in your job, in your project. And if you really think that you want to go and try, try out something outside your organization, even that is a option. Also, when we come to upskilling, if you're working in an organization, uh, most of the times organizations give options for learning new things and doing certifications etc so that is also one of the options you can try out now if you are following the same routine on a daily basis and you feel bored and you feel very low then maybe it's time to take a break and analyze you know sometimes uh, when we are very cluttered we are working with a cluttered mind we are not able to uh, figure out and find out good solutions even if we try to find out solutions they may not be the best solutions for us so maybe it's time to take a break and when you take a break, maybe it, it will be very good if you can, you know, go to a, a place which is a little far from your uh, where you are working and from the environment that you are working on, on a daily basis and take this time to declutter your mind. You can also take up some hobby so that you can, uh, you know, divert your mind and then you can think uh, in a very clear way what do you want what you do not want what things make you happy what do you want to learn you can make a list of things you want to do and then you can figure out a plan how you would like to achieve this so that that can be a very very good uh, way to take a break and then analyze things then if the work is not very challenging again you can check for the unexplored areas in your projects in a different project in your organization talk to people figure out what new things you can do and uh, you can learn and uh, change or you can implement and you can get all this knowledge from other teams projects people and then you can figure out what new things you can do and here also upskilling will really help yourself it will help you a lot and then if the team and environment is not very supportive now in this case 
if you have tried out all the things and you still believe that you cannot help it the team the environment the workplace the people are not very supportive and you cannot help it nobody is listening to you or nobody is you know um trying to understand what you really want what are your problems then maybe it's time to make a switch you can update your resume put your resume online do networking find out a suitable new job or position for you and then you can make a switch and then in the new place you will feel a new enthusiasm and then you can always keep on upskilling yourself and then this will be very helpful for you now if there are any other things that i may have missed you can let me know in the comment section below you can add your thoughts and also if there is anything you want me to take up in the next episode of ask raghav please let me know in the comment section i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning